I've got another product from the bag company. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got a KNF Concept plastic bag. It's nice, isn't it? Actually, it is quite nice. They've got a new logo. KNF Concept have re reinvented themselves and they brought out a new logo and it looks really nice and swish and modern. So what have we got inside this bag? Let's 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 reveal it and show you what we've got. So inside this bag, we've got their new, um, very well, very nicely designed um, alpha bag. This is KNF's new little product and he asked me if I'd like to take a look of it and could I make use of it and, and the thing is, yes I can. Um, I know I've got my Shimoda camera bag and I use that all the time for when I'm out walking, hiking and stuff like that but to have a nice bag that you can actually go street photography with that doesn't look quite like a camera bag this is the sort of thing that would really actually work well. Um, as you can see, it's a nice, simple gray color, so it doesn't sort of stand out and jump out and say, look, I've got a camera in here. There's no big camera logos. There's nothing that says, you know, this is a camera bag. It looks a bit like a backpack, uh, which is really nice. But more than that, this thing's waterproof. So it's got waterproof seals all the way around it, all around the zips, everything's waterproof. It comes with a waterproof cover as well. It's a 25 litre bag, which means there's plenty of space in it to keep all your camera equipment. But it's got a few little hidden tricks in it. One of them is, there's a zip on the top and you can access a pocket in the top to get to your laptop. It'll take a 16 inch laptop, which is quite nice because people that want laptops in their bags is definitely worth having. Um, you know, you might be on a small photography trip or you might want to go on a plane or on a train and take your laptop with you. Uh, there's side pockets in the side to take a water bottle or a tripod, which is really, really nice. Uh, I like that design. There's also these buckles, as you can see on the side here, and these things unslide, so you can unslide them, remove them. You can actually unslide them and flip them down and hook them underneath as well. Uh, which is quite nice they're like a little aluminium look and they're obviously adjustable and you can fit other things behind there you can tuck a coat in there you might want to put a sleeping mat or a roll mat you might want to put something like that in there and, and have it hooked on the bottom and i think that works quite well you can also then undo these straps like so and you can unzip this this then gives you access to your inside compartment now as you can see in there it's not designed very well for what um, a normal camera would be. You've got all these really hard padded um, dividers and you can have your camera in the top slotted down as a standard um, organization or do it cycling, you know, what I've got in there as well. The other thing with this, it features um, little locks. So if you are on the train or an airplane or something, these little zips at the side here have got a popper. Once you pop that popper on, you can't actually open these zips. Okay, so they pop on either side. You can have them on one side or the other side if you want your zips on the far side they go all the way around that side and there's a popper that side as well and it just basically means when you put that popper on it stops people opening them zips i think that is a fantastic idea for a travel safe bag um, you don't need locks and stuff like that but just that little popper is enough to know that people can't just flip the zip up um, i would say that there's a pocket on the side and that doesn't have a popper um, I'd, I'd love to see a popper on both sides as well. Um, the top pocket as well, the top pocket's got a popper on it. So you can put your zips behind your pocket, a popper, put a little popper down. And again, it stops that zip coming undone. You can't open it, which is really, really a good little design. I like that. The top compartment, again, you can open the top compartment and you can, you can keep a, a camera in the top here. My video camera there, my M50, fits in the top of this very, very easily. There's some little mesh pockets in there as well for keeping your batteries, your keys. There's a couple of mesh pockets in here as well. See, I've got my microphone in there at the moment. So everything fits in here, but what's also nice about this is you can drop this little pouch insert there, and inside there's another zip, and you can zip it up like that, and you gain all this extra space in the top okay so you're gaining a big chunk of space and you might want to stuff a coat in there or something like that or your pack lunch or cans of coke and whatever you want to shove in there there's plenty of room inside that compartment to expand it out uh, with expanding it out it doesn't become waterproof i don't think because it doesn't have that same lining actually i'll tell a lie it does yeah it does have that same lining and it is waterproof um, and the locks would probably still work yeah, the lock would still work as well. So yeah, that, that, that's quite a nice little uh, feature. I do really like that. Um, top access is always really good for putting coats and things like that as well. So you've got your top access and you've got your uh, outside access. Uh, on the back, 
you've got um, your straps. Now your straps are a slightly different design. These straps are designed with a pop button. Similar to a seat belt, you press the button on the inside and these come off. You see like that's a seat belt design. Uh, push it back in and I think you've got to press the button to lock it in. Yep. So you can actually remove the top and the bottom. The bottom have a normal plastic buckle on it. So you can actually remove these straps completely and take them off the bag altogether. And you've got a side opening in the side of the bag that is actually slot on top of a trolley. So if you are going on an airplane or a train or something like that and you need to slot it on your um, travel bag or your suitcase, that's the way to do it. And it comes with an additional handle on the side as well. So you can carry it sideways as well. This is really been thought out. Um, you've got that lovely mesh padding. The straps feel like a memory foam padding. They feel really comfortable. Uh, again, it's got this um, hook on sort of adjuster for adjusting your uh, sternum strap. And again, it's all fully adjustable. Really well thought out. I do like this. You've got a quick and easy tightening strap. You tighten it down, a little loop to pull it up and loosen it. There's no waist strap, but I don't think you need a waist strap on a bag like this. It's designed for short usage, not for carrying big, heavy amounts of gear. Um, on the side, I have mentioned, you've got these pockets. I've got in there at the moment um, my charger. Now, when I'm traveling in and out, I can take it with me and take it indoors and move around with it very easy. Now, the beauty of this is you can take off one of the straps. You can interlock it with a single strap. So you can have one single strap if you wanted, either side. You can have the two straps if you want or remove them all together. And while you're doing that, they thought about something else as well. If you can look on the side of this, if you can see this, I know it's very hard to show you in the van, but on the side here, you've got a side opening pocket. It opens all the way down and you can open it up and you can access your camera from the side of the bag. So this is like a slingshot bag. You can actually sling it to one side and access your camera. But not only that, they thought about it left and right handed. So I've got my, my um, infrared camera on one side and on the other side, I've got my, DS, my um, Fuji with my lens on it. So I've managed to rig it so that I can go into either side of the bag and get out what it is I want from each side. Not only that, inside these pockets is an additional pocket where you can keep all your batteries, your filters, your lenses, anything else that you need to keep in these pouches will take up that space. And I just love the fact that it's dual, dual side, dual purpose, and easily accessible for either of them cameras or lenses or whatever it is you want to slot on the side without actually opening the whole bag and having it still attached to you. So yeah, really, really, really impressed. A couple of notes. Um, we have a price. This is not the cheapest of bags. Uh, the retail price on the KNF site is £369. Uh, quite a lot of money, but if it's as good as it says on the tin, um, then there's a lot of features in this bag that could be really, really handy. The fact that it's sort of stealth and uh, airplane friendly, absolutely love it. Retailing, um, there is a 43% discount on at the moment uh, at the time I'm doing this and it's down at £209. So snap yourself a bargain. I will put a link in the description for you as well. This also comes with a rain cover and on the bottom is another little pouch just down here which is velcroed and inside there you get your rain cover now with the bag being waterproof you might find you're not needing it but if you are going to go out in heavy rain it's probably really handy to keep that waterproof bag velcroed in the bottom and it does give that extra little bit of padding as well um, but chances are I take it out but you can also see there's two loops on the bottom here where these these back straps can come round and strap things on the bottom of the bag so it has been thought out there is a lot of thought and ingenuity gone into that and I'm quite impressed with it so thank you for watching that hope you like the bag any information you want about it please let me know oh it has got this nice carbon fiber look to it very swish very expensive looking um, till next time ciao for now see you soon and again, all the links will be in the description. If you want to know anything, just ask. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.